Hi, I'm Maddie, one of the Tweaks reporting from Comic-Con, and I'm going to interview the some of the cast and the creators for Batman the Killing Joke. This movie is actually rated R, so it's not for you younger viewers, and it's more of like the darker side of Batman, not Batman is dark, but like more adult side of Batman. There's like a lot of violence and such in it, so not for kids, really. This story, I was talking to Sean and Julie Benson for Birds of Prey, and for Birds of Prey, there's Batgirl, uh, Barbara Gordon becomes Oracle after she gets paralyzed and put in a wheelchair, and this is the story of how she gets put in her wheelchair. I am Kevin Conroy. I'm doing the voice of Batman in Killing Joke. This movie has been an idea for a while, and it's now finally getting done. And you guys got the go-ahead to make the movie rated R. How are you feeling about that? Well, I think it's such a complicated story. It's such a dark story that to do it any other way wouldn't have done it justice. And they decided that, you know, they just wanted to do it right. And to do it right, they were going to have to maybe sacrifice some of the younger audience. Because it's not really appropriate. For, for a younger audience. It's a very dark story. But it's a, you know, Batman, it's a very complicated world, the whole Batman world. Um, it's not necessarily all appropriate for, for young audiences, you know? The original Batman the Animated Series was a primetime show. People forget that. Um, it was dark, it was, it was painted on a black background, it was very film noir. Um, so they've always been sort of pushing the edge with the Batman shows. The, the cast for this looks so fantastic, and I'm really excited Isn't for it. it. What's it been like working with like Mark Hamill and Tara Strong and everyone? <laughs> well, we've been working together for 24 years. So Mark, I know so well. Tara, I know well. Uh, there's so such an understanding there of how we each work. We already have relationships built up. Uh, the fun thing in this was working with Ray Weiss, who does Commissioner Gordon. Um, I'd never worked with him before, and he has a really rich history, acting history. He comes from the New York theater like I do. Um, and he's just a very uh, sensitive, um, passionate actor that brings a lot to the role. So we're here with Ray Weiss, who plays Commissioner Gordon in Batman The Killing Joke. Mm -hmm. So uh, Commissioner Gordon, that's, that's kind of like a bigger role in this. Do you see any of yourself in Commissioner Gordon? Any of myself? Yeah, the good father, strong, upright, a man of integrity. I've always felt that way about myself, <laughs> but I love the character and uh, what they wrote on the page was something that I wanted to do and, and I've loved this story, The Killing Joke, for a long, long time and they've, ex they've expanded on it to make it, uh, you know, the movie version and um, I saw it for the first time a couple of days ago and I loved it. So. so in the eyes of a lot of comic book readers, most comic book readers, this is like the iconic Batman story. Did you feel any like pressure going into this? Like I got to do this perfect. I got to do this right. I knew I knew how important it was to a lot of people, but I, I didn't want to feel the pressure. You know, I wanted to push that aside and just approach it from an acting point of view and play the character as well as I could. But I knew there was a lot on the line. Sure. And I am so pleased it came out so beautifully. Really. I even liked myself, which is unusual for me so well i'm so thrilled to come see this thank you so much for answering these questions yeah where did the decision to incorporate uh, a prelude about uh, barbara gordon come from we needed some more material she didn't have a really a character arc in the uh the source material so it was just natural for me when they asked me like what would you do to flesh out this story i was like i'd give barbara a character arc and is there another batman one shot or like series arc that you'd like to turn into a little movie a little movie. <laughs> uh, man, I don't know. We'll see. I did a graphic novel called Joker. That would make a good animated uh... Sounds like it'd make a good movie. You can get Batman the Killing Joke in digital HD on July 26th, and you can get it on Blu-ray and DVD August 2nd. So that's all for now. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Periscope, Snapchat, and like us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube and check back every Thursday on comicbooks.com for new videos. Bye!